Hey dude, Thub with you again, and today we've got an interesting project that I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but we're going to give it a swing, because I think it'll be fun. First though, we hit up some breakfast. It was, I'll just, here's some cute breakfast footage. Stampede breakfast, y'all. Right. Petting zoo. And now, let me show you what the project is for today. Ugh. It's gonna start with this. What we have here is an old school cabinet speaker and a powered subwoofer from a computer speaker set. Now what I'm hoping to create is some sort of a portable powered audio table. So of course this thing is not powered, it needs to be plugged into an amplifier, but this little subwoofer has a small wattage amplifier built into it. So I'm hoping that if I crack this thing open I might be able to adapt the small amplifier unit that's inside it to live inside this speaker cabinet to power it so I can just plug this thing in and use it however I want. Let's bust this little guy open and see what we're looking at. Now, I am going to take all the screws out but more than likely it's probably more difficult than that to get into. We may have to resort to extreme measures. Alright, that is a very simple looking amplifier. First off, I'm going to take these ends, which were going to the bass driver on this little subwoofer, and plug them directly into the speaker, and see if I can actually get a full uh, range of response through this. I doubt it, because these things usually separate that somehow. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of slack sticking out of the, uh, down there, so I'm just going to see if I can crack open this whole cabinet and get at the goodies inside, while well, keeping them mounted to this piece of wood on the back, because that would make it a lot easier to put the whole thing together afterwards, I think. Making it up! Making it up as we go! Oops! got what I wanted. And I've got a handy dandy garbage bin. If anybody wants an old speaker cabinet, DM me. No, that's just bass. Probably still gonna let it play though. No, we're gonna have to try a little harder. Not surprised, but that would have made things so easy. Now the next idea is just to run from the speaker output, which will probably work. Um, and that's just gonna come down to how much effort I want to put into making it nice or not. First, we gotta test that and make sure it's gonna work. Wouldn't that be funny if this was a huge waste of time? No. Now I've got this old pair of headphones. These are not the ideal wire to use, they're very small. I don't know what kind of problems that can cause. Let's find out. It's plugged in, it's on, do we get a feedback? We don't get any feedback. That's not a good thing. We're not getting anything at all out of that. I can't say I'm surprised. I'm just gonna put something together and I'm not gonna walk you guys through the like tiny soldering joint, I'll just show you what I managed to put up. All right, here's where we ended up, next round of testing. This is me soldering some wire onto where the uh, inputs on the speaker go, and directly from the uh, inputs on the circuit board here. Just easier than trying to make a wire at this stage. So this is pretty much the last kick at this. I sure hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh, I can hear a response. Plug that in. Power on. Seems to be working. Smile. What 
better seeing how nicely I can fit the whole thing inside there. Okay, I'm all set up for more fun parts. I've removed this panel from its temporary soldering joint, and while I was at it, I popped this thing off of the inside because I don't really, I'd rather minimize how many wires are hanging around, so if I can hide this inside the cabinet, that would be great, but I still want to be able to use a volume control module, and maybe someday I'll want like an actual headphone thing. I doubt it, but there you go. It'll have a volume control. Now we can do more fun parts, though. I've marked off where I want it to sit inside this cabinet. So I'm just going to start with some holes. Now, guess what? I get to use my new toy for the first time. You can't imagine how much I've been looking forward to this. Well, maybe some of you can. Who am I kidding? We're all here for the same reasons. You guys get this. Now, come on. We're just going to use the Wrecker. Because I like the name. This thing's real simple. It's got this little slider here. So you slide that open. Drop that in. Let it go. And it's on. Safety first. <laughs> yep. Let's see how this works. Uh, uh, okay, I need a bigger hole to start with. That should work. Oh my god, it's everything I'd ever dreamed it would be. Dare to dream, people. Dare to dream. Whew. That's a good hole. Now let's make sure this hole is big enough. It'd be a shame if we had to cut more. Yep, that'll do. Can I cut any wood? Nope. Why not? I know having a dad who's concerned for your safety isn't the most fun. At all. Well, yeah, I know. It's like the least fun you could ever have. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, now this, I want this to sit, like, be mounted on the back there so I can have this, used to be this little MacGuffin all the way inside there. So I'm just going to drill a hole. Okay, this looks like a good spot. That's what you think. Looks good. Yeah. Hot glue would be the thing, but I'm going to use double-sided tape. What does this take? Look. There we go. Oh my god. I'm a yo-yo. My solder is not a yo-yo. It's solder? Yeah. It's supposed to stay all nicely wound up. And I'm gonna get pretty wound up if you keep using it as a yo-yo. <laughs> I'm putting it back. Oh, that's good news. <laughs> One of our subs says you should be wearing shoes. Because if there's all these little tools and bits and pieces of things, you might get something stuck in your foot. All right. Do we have to? Almost done. I should be using hot glue to seal this thing around. Um, I just don't think it's going to make a world of difference in the sound quality. What if there was a bunch of sticks around and you couldn't get through and you were trying to go through and someone said, you're in a sticky situation. That's a bad joke. I know, right? Now there's a lot of scorching that happened here and you can tell it's all melty up there. I'm not really sure what this thing is, but I'm gonna guess that's the reason why the tweeter doesn't work on this unit. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. The tweeter. The tweeter is the part that makes the really, really high frequencies. It helps balance out the sound. Yeah, that's why they call it a tweeter, because the sounds that it makes are basically tweeting. Really? Yeah. But bam Got a nice flow and everything's sitting pretty. All right. Nice and clean. Look at this. Look at what we've invented. This is really cool. All you got to do... Here's Wub. You plug Hi. that in. Plug that into your music source and just play some rad tunes. It's the Tim Crack Commandments, wow. Uh, uh. Man, can't tell me nothing about this cold. 
Can't tell me nothing about this crack, this weed, and my hustle, nigga. Uh. Man, this thing is amazing. Like, what a cool idea. I think if we refine the concept, you could probably... This will take off. People would totally buy these things. Alright, but seriously, I think it's time to show you guys the point. Alright. Here we have the turntable. The centerpiece of this ridiculous mission. And here... This is what Durant and I picked up last time. So we've got Gladys Knight and the Pips. What does that say? Vintage rock. Sensational hits of the 60s. Some more Gladys Knight and the Pips. This one, uh, I'm not gonna pretend Durant and I bought this for anything other than the cover. Because we really like whipped cream. Great dancing hits of the 60s. Casey and the Sunshine Band. And little Vivaldi. Vivaldi Mart. Let's start with this one. Hmm. 12 inch, 30 RPM. We need more volume. Okay, so we tested it and what happened was almost nothing. Very, very, very close to nothing. We had a tiny bit of sound. Turns out, you actually need a significant amount of application on the amplification. You need to amplify the signal from a turntable a lot more than one of those teeny little speaker subwoofers is able to to pump out. It did work, the project worked, just didn't work good enough. So instead we're gonna substitute something a little more appropriate for the required power. Rob, turn it on. I wonder where else we could go. I think we might need a different record. Can I choose a record? A yeah. Record. Oh wow, this came with some like some fancy record sleeve. Oh, oh, oh. Nicely done. I've been abandoned. Turns out 
This is no fun. Well, you can make all the plans you want, but it doesn't mean it's going to work out. Still an entertaining way to spend a day. But you guys leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing. Scratch and then I'll Do you struggle or you're nice like this? 